The quick summary option allows you to display the short summary of a post as a part of the respective post content. It helps the readers to gain a quick insight about the post. In this video, I will show you how to add quick summary feature for blog posts step by step. Please note that to access the quick summary option, you will first need to install and activate the Rishi Pro plugin and then activate the advanced blogging extension. To access the advanced blogging extension from your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance and click on Rishi theme. Go to Extensions. Click on Pro Extensions. From under Advanced Blogging, click on the Activate button. Now, go to Posts. Click on All Posts. From here, you have to select the post where you wish to add a quick summary feature. Let's select the first post. Click on Edit. Go to Post Settings and click on it. Here, you will find the Quick Summary option and inside of this box, you can add the Quick Summary text. Click on Done and click on Update. Now, let's view the post in the new tab. From here, you have to access your customizer settings. Just click on the Customize option. Scroll down, then go to Advanced Blogging under Extensions. Click on Quick Summary. Now, you have to enable the Show Quick Summary option by enabling the toggle. And here is the quick summary that you added for this post. If the quick summary does not display, as soon as you enable the toggle, like how I showed you right now, then please make sure that you publish the changes and give this tab a refresh. Also, please make sure, go back, back, go to your single post and you have to make sure that the quick summary element is enabled and it is not hidden. Let's go back, back to advanced blogging and back to quick summary. From here, you can change the quick summary label. Just remove the label that is already here, then add in the label of your choice. Under design tab, you can change the font family for the quick summary. You can also select the font style of your choice, as well as set the font size, line height, letter spacing, and you can also select other styling options. You can also select the font color. As well as the background color. After you are done, click on publish to save the changes. If you have any questions or confusions, Please do let me know in the comment section below or even better you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.